like uh, so the material we have is extra 67 and if we want to add other uh, uh, yeah. an uh, uh, there is uh, uh, the important park called the Jim Everett Park and that I explained to Robert is not with play equipment it is with uh, landforms that permit play and these landforms are the oval for soccer or frisbee or just kicking a ball. Mm -hmm. uh, the wall around it is for people to sit and have lunch or else watch play. Uh, the ascent of a nine foot mound with rocks is for play and also physical activity. And when you have reached the height of the mound, you are the king of the castle. <laughs> and uh, that is important because you have achieved something. And so a two-year-old can do that. And nobody is afraid of letting these tiny children climb up the mound and sliding down. And it's good in the winter even when we have a little snow, the children come out with cardboard boxes and slide. So it's very inventive. Mm. Uh, and uh, so that should be maybe uh, a sustainability and play. The whole community, it's for the whole community. Mm -hmm. I was there on Sunday because uh, we have the Japanese uh, cherries in bloom. And the Japanese cherry uh, is the first tree to bloom in March. And so all the Japanese and the Chinese were coming with their kiddies. And uh, they were kicking balls and they were running around. It is just a wonderful thing to see. But above all, this ground is developed to sustainability principles, namely to collect all the rainwater uh, that falls onto the ground into a wetland. And this park does not connect to the storm sewer. Mm -hmm. The storm sewers in Vancouver are overloaded and they take all the water to the Burrard Inlet. And so not to connect to the sewer is from an, a climatic environmental point of view essential. So this is the first park in Vancouver to not connect to the storm sewer. Moreover, it has paths which are not paved. In Vieux Montréal, you have this granular surface to walk on mm -hmm. at the promenade. Mm -hmm. Well, this granular surface is uh, not gray like yours. It's beige because our stones are different. And it's rolled on to the soil. And we should show really a detail how this is done. And allows the rainwater right go back to the soil. So I have no catch basins there and no playground equipment. I have gardens for the children in this park uh, for observing butterflies with uh, red flowers, with yellow flowers and blue flowers. So the children come out with butterfly nets and they think they catch a butterfly. But, <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, one day I was there and uh, there were two mothers playing with their children and one mother said to the little girl, we have to come go home now, your brother is coming home for lunch. And this little girl said to the other one, don't you move my sticks and stones. <laughs> they had played and made themselves a game with sticks and stones. That is what you want to teach that next generation that type of absorption in play and not be a monkey on a jungle gym. Mm. Mm -hmm. So uh, if so, you have uh, play, yeah. then we must wind up with the importance of play yeah. in today's world with smaller parks, mm -hmm. without equipment, mm -hmm. where children can find their own way and the adults too, the park of the future. Yeah. That would be the Jim Everett Park.